A barn in Tangent, once owned by a cat, has gotten a makeover. The owner left it to his pet when he died back in the 80s. As KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Cross shows us, the new owner is being recognized for preserving the structure's history. When the owner of this barn died in the 1980s, he left it to his cat. Now, the cat owned the barn for 10 years, but after it died, the city of Tangent took over, but it wasn't able to continue to pay to maintain it. That's when neighbor Beth Timmons stepped in. This is the Borden Bass Big Red Barn, formerly known as the John Bass Barn. A farmer in the Tangent community, John Bass left his estate to his feline, Kitty Cat. The house is now the Tangent City Hall, and you can see Kitty Cat's grave right in front. Anywhere you see the new wood, this was all rotten wood before. But the barn was falling apart, and the city was going to send it to the landfill. I bought the barn for a dollar. And then I was responsible for all the moving costs and the cleanup. That was in 2012. And since then, Timmons and her parents have been working on the restoration. We want it to be a place that community can have events. There used to be a Tangent Harvest Festival. We would like to eventually bring that back and have it centered around the barn. This is our temporary staircase. And a place where people can learn about the history of the area. This is why we saved the barn. This is so incredibly beautiful up here. A lot of folks want to get married in here, and I can totally understand why. I mean, this is, this is just made to have community events happen in here. Cupolas needed to be rebuilt, and the cupolas are how the barn breathes. Earlier this month, Timmons got a letter from the Lynn County Historic Resource Commission praising her work. It was such a feeling that what we did was the right thing and what we're continuing to do is the right thing and that there's other people that care. An effort to preserve the history of a barn that may still have nine lives. In Tangent, Rhoda Krause, KEZI, Nine News.